Welcome, welcome my fellow familiars. I hope you guys are having one wonderful sunny day today. And, well, if it's nighttime, hopefully tomorrow is an extremely sunny day for you guys. Uh, John McPain, level 9 opponent. And today's deck, we will be looking at a suggestion by Richard W. And what it is, it's an all elf deck. Okay, let's keep this hand, it's pretty good. I will try to get to Lisa Liana Huntmaster right away, and wow, our opponent Mulligan pretty heavily there. And, well, game number one, it's okay. So yeah, Richard W, you have said that elves are not overpowered. I beg to differ. Let's see. Please draw into a land. Yes. Ah, oh, crap, no lands. Oh, I could have waited for Nisa. Oh, well. That is fine. There we are. So I will be waiting for that one land to draw into Huntmaster before I do anything else. Okay. So there we are. I think it's an Ultra Z of sorts. There we go, let's just play the forest, pass the turn. So, first ridiculousness, look at this. For 2 mana, you get a 2-2, two -two, and additionally, you're going to get a 1-1 one -one elf creature token. Okay? So that's the first part. This card is okay, this is okay, this... Uh, it's kind of removal, so, for example, he has his wild aggregate going on here. I can use Guild Leaf Winnower and take care of it. Okay, we're not drawing into the lands, unfortunately. That's a little bit unnerving, I'll be honest. Uh, I will wait. Still being hopeful here. Let's continue. If he does swing, it's just one damage, so it's okay. It is red, blue, Eldrazi, it seems. Ooh, nice. So two damage, and we're going to be ingested. Hopefully it's not a land card that gets ingested. If it is, I'm going to be very sad. Let's see. And, yay, it's not a land one, it's Shaman of the pack, which is fine. So, please be land. There we go. And now, let's get the Huntmaster out. He might burn. Oh, he could have had cancelled there. Well, anyways, here we go. We did start off with an advantage, of course, because opponent did mulligan too heavily, and that was a little bit screwed, but what can you do? Okay, so there's two damage. If he swings, I'll block no I probably wouldn't have even blocked anyways so now I can do double Dwyven and Sabine elite and look at this if this is not ridiculous then I don't know what is here we go and here we go next turn I will do Thornbow Archer with Eye Blight Assassin yep there we go so just like that, we went from one elf to what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven elves. Okay then, let's gather up the pack. There is seven damage we can do to your opponent's face right away. Uh, wow, that's a good thing he didn't gain control of our creature. Would have been very painful if he did. There will be more ingesting going on, let's see. Hmm. You do? Okay, he did not pay that, that's good. There's the guild leaf we know where we need one more black mana. Well, that's green, that is fine, we didn't need that anyways. There is Reclamation Sage, so with Reclamation Sage, Artifact or Enhancement, right? This is not Artifact, not Artifact. I will wait for that Enhancement to kick in. So for the time being, I will do I Blight Assassin here. Oh, crap! Oh yeah, we only did have one red mana anyways. I Blight Assassin comes in, I do kill Eldrazi Obligator here. For a second I thought I had two black mana, but that's fine. So, Thornbow Archer. Uh, given all of this, I can swing with this. Our opponent will just jump block, so... No, let's skip the attack and move on. Yeah, opponent would have just easily jump blocked and that would have been useless. Okay, another wild aggregate, that's fine. I mean, next turn, I play Thornbow Archer. He was Force Mage. And... Turn after I can easily hit for what? 12, 12 damage. Or 13 damage even. Okay. More land. There is another fertile ticket. Let's get it out. Let's hope that we do draw into the black mana for Guild Leaf Winnower. Damn it. Oh well, let's just finish that. Okay, so let's play Thornbow Archer. Do I wanna do Yves Force Mage? Make this a 5-5. If I do swing though, our opponent might just jump block. I 
don't like that as much. However, what other choice do I really have here? Hmm. I can play Reclamation Sage since it seems pretty unlikely our opponent will be playing any enhancements. So let's just do that. Here we are. Yes. Okay. We're at 13 elves. Next turn will be at 15 elves. Skip the attack. So next turn it's at 15 elves. And then uh, if we do draw into one more land, I can swing with Shaman of the Pack right away. Dealing crap loads of damage. So, oh, our opponent chooses what to discard. I'm not sure why he didn't discard Exile Shaman of the pack, but that's fine. Okay, so here's to hoping I draw into a land card. Okay, that's Nisa, that's fine, doesn't matter. Land, just what we needed, so look at this. We do this, this is a victory right here, just a complete storm. So there we are. Choose a creature to get plus two, plus two, I guess we give it to the Huntmaster. Does not matter at this point. Let's play Shaman of the Pack. Deal 17 damage to the opponent. Here we go. And then all we have to do is just measly 3 more damage. And that's it. Here we go. Swinging with everything. And dropping our opponent even farther down. Okay guys. That is game number 1. A victory. I will see you in game number 2. And we're back for game number two, which is going to be another victory, I presume. So if you guys look at the deck description, deck breakdown in a, uh, you know, video description or track level 20, you will see that this deck has no instance, no enchantments, nothing, just elf creatures and that's it. Okay, really like this hand, so do I like this hand? Yeah, let's keep it. So let's start with the Swamp. The good thing about it is we do have Sylvan Advocate, which does come out as... Okay, so let's look at this. Two mana, two three, has Vigilance, and on top of it, it can become into a four five. Is this not ridiculous? Well, anyways, let's see. Hopefully we join into land. Mm, another Huntmaster. I think I will wait a little bit here. I might as well, I guess. Or maybe I play... Uh, no, I don't want to play Sylvan Advocate. I want to get two Huntmasters out before I do anything at all. Here we are. If next turn I don't draw into uh, a land, then I might consider playing Sylvan Advocate. Because that'll be a response to his Undercity Troll. And to top it all off, you know, uh, it won't die. Okay, so one damage to us, that's fine. Ooh, actually I gotta be careful. Anointer of Champions can make this into a 3-3 and that's not good at all. So, you know what, let's make this Renowned. Here's the thing, our opponent is going to swing with this anyways and turn it Renowned, so... Uh, yeah. So here's what was going to happen. Even if I play Sylvan Advocate, he would have made this 3-3, swung with it, and um, I would have lost my Sylvan Advocate. Yes, this wouldn't have become renowned, but does it really matter at this point? I don't think so. Okay, so that's a 3-3. We've taken some damage. That's fine. Okay. Now, let's see. We drew into Fertile Thicket, excellent. That means we can do double Lysali and a Huntmaster. Yes, I'd like to use this ability. Ah, oh, and well, Forest is pretty good, so I'm not gonna complain here. Okay, uh, let's continue. Oh god, double Lysali and a Huntmaster is going to be so beautiful. And completely ridiculous. Also, I'm sorry for car racing noises outside. Uh, I do try to edit it out with uh, audio editing, but... Uh, doesn't seem like I succeed too well. Okay, so there's four damage. Let's move on. Excellent, let's play the forest, let's play the huntmaster. After that another huntmaster and then Dwyvern's elite, get a bunch of tokens and we're all good. Here we are. Our opponent's only 2 mana, holy crap, he's as mana screwed, but screwed as it can get, eh? 
So anointer of champions, yeah, we take 4 damage, that's fine. We will swing at our opponent, however I do believe he might have... Uh, uh, I forgot the name, anyways, it makes us forces us to sacrifice target attacking or blocking creature. Ooh, Shaman of the Pack. Now we have everything we need here. So let's get a token out. Yes, if our opponent chooses to swing with his uh, under city troll, I'll just take it. It's fine. Skip the attack and move on. Now, following this, I will do Dwyven's Elite and Sylvan Advocate. Then probably Grasp of Hero Mancer. Okay. There we go, he will probably tap down Elf Warrior, which is fine by me. But hey, guess what? Now, with Reclamation Sage, I can actually take care of Grasp of Hero Mancer, so... I think I'll do Dwyvern's Elite. I don't have the 6 lands anyways. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes. So unless if I draw into 1 more lands, I will just play Dwyvern's Elite and not Sylvan Advocate here. Let's take 5 damage, that's fine. We're down to 3 health. Our opponent does not have any burn, I'm pretty sure of it. So let's play. Okay then. So first Reclamation Sage comes out. Here we go. Yes, I'm not even sure why I wouldn't want to do this. Yes. Uh, destroy this, here we go. Uh, yes, of course. Now let's play the Sylvan Advocate, here we are, uh, yes, and yes, okay we're at 8 elves right now which is pretty good, Dwyven's Elite is going to put us, oh god my math is horrible here but let's swing, swing, our opponent has used up all the mana so we do 5 damage, oh never mind not 5, uh, 7 damage to our opponent. Actually, with Shaman of the Pack and Dwyvan's Elite, that's... So, that's it, guys. That's game here. I will play Dwyvan's Elite and follow that up with Shaman of the Pack. Dwyvan's Elite is going to be 2, 3, 4... So, that's extra 4 elves. That puts us at 13 elves, plus another 3. That's 16 damage we'll be able to do next turn to our opponent without even swinging at him first. Our opponent's at 3 health, but... If he even has a fog in there, it doesn't matter at this point, I think. We have a 4-5. He might use a, a reprisal on it, if he does have it. However, I highly doubt it. Anyways, guys, see? Especially Richard W. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're up against level 20 here. I'm, I know it's not the highest level, but there's no way to win this. Elf decks are just ridiculously strong. Anyways, let's just do this. Yes. And yes. And this is me not even using white mana. I could create an elf deck using white, green and black. That would be even more overly overpowered. So yes. Wait, how much is this? 14 elves. 15 elves and there is the 16th elf coming out. And we win. Okay guys. That is game number two. I will see you in game number three. And we're back for game number three. Which I think our luck has run out and this time maybe we will not have as much of an overwhelming victory like we did other times. And holy crap, how do I pronounce that? Okay. Two mana, double Lisa Liana Huntmasters. We're keeping this hand. Let's look at this now. His name is... Comandante dos Zoyo Vermeljo. Uh, okay, if you guys know this, especially Jesus, if you're still watching this, thanks for watching first of all, and if you still are watching this, please let me know what origin this name is. Oh, come on. Uh, well, we're up against white deck. White color so far. Okay. There is double shaman of the pack. Double Huntmaster, uh, Scarblade, and Yiva's Force Mage. Doesn't get better than that. Okay, it's white and red, so there will be burn here. That's for sure. Ah, uh, we gotta draw into Lance. 
We gotta draw into them very quickly, otherwise it will be mana screwed. Okay. Finally. Okay, so this is an allies deck. Excellent. I'm curious to see how it holds up against the... Uh, against elves here. Okay. So, not going to play any of these. Waiting for Huntmaster, so waiting for that one more green mana. Hopefully we do get get it. If we don't... Hmm... If we don't, even playing Eye Blight Assassin seems pretty useless. Scarblade? Or Yiva's Force Mage? Hmm... What should we play if we don't draw into lands? Well, it was lands likely enough. Okay, so... Let's just take another 4 damage. Going to do double Huntmaster. Follow that up. Probably with Yiva's Force Mage. Actually with the Scarblade. And then Yiva's Force Mage. And then we'll go from there. Okay. So, 4 damage to our face. There we are. Moving on. Ooh, Thornbow Archer, excellent. Well, let's get the Huntmaster out. With this mana breakdown, we can actually do with Thornbow Archer and Scarblade. Pretty good. And then I'll follow that up with uh, Force Mage, put it to Thornbow. Okay, so that's 6 plus 11 damage. Oh no, that hurts. That really hurts. Very unexpected to have Traitorous Instinct in an ally deck. Wow. Okay, so Woodland Cemetery. Let's do Huntmaster and then Thornbow Archer. Wow, that This was really unexpected turn of events here, but it's okay. We're at 3 health, but we have enough blockers and everything we need. Here we go. And this is where the deck is going to start growing ridiculously out of proportion. Okay, so attack phase, it's an AI, of course it won't attack. There's the Flame Shadow Conjuring, which is fine by me. He still won't be swinging, even with Flame Shadow Conjuring, I'm pretty sure of it. So, let's play the Wine Breeder. Nah, what do I want to do? Do I want to use Force Mage here? Yes, do I want to use Force Mage and swing with this? Yes, I do. Yeah, I think that's uh Hmm, no, if I do it on a force mage, that's not quite as profitable. So what do I do? I blight assassin? Hmm. I blight assassin is no good either. So I guess it's Scarblade that we gotta play out here. Okay, we're at nine elves. I can just do one, two, three. If we do draw into one more land, I can kill our opponent next turn. If we don't, we'll kill him in two turns, and that's fine. So, skip the attack. Next turn is obvious. Going to be Shaman of the Pack, and then Shaman of the Pack, and our opponent will be dead. Even at 22 health. Here we are. So, there's Traitorous Instinct. Really? What is he planning to do with that? He attacks for 3. Damn it. Painful as it might be, I gotta do this. Okay, so we control 10 elves. Not all too pleasant, but... Hmm... No, I have to do Shaman of the Pack here. It deals 10 damage to our opponent. Or actually more than that, sorry. 13 damage to the opponent. Here we are. Here we go. I can even swing with the uh, lifting and uh, gain crap loads of life here. So skip the attack for now. Okay, our opponent gains some more life. Not going to save him. Actually, what I'm thinking of doing here, Boulder Salvo going to here, yep. We still have lethal, 12 damage. Okay, our opponent... Ooh, very interesting play. So, let's block this. Let's block this and block this. Let's block this and block this. Here we are, confirm the block. Well then. 
Maybe I want to prolong this a little bit more. Play the leaf team. No, no. Let's let's end this. Yeah, enough play. So, I, oh my god, that's a misclick. Anyways, that's a victory. As I said, not as overwhelming, but a victory nonetheless. Let's even play this. I'll play press yes this time properly. Look, and this actually is enough for us to even kill, uh, for example, Ulamog Ceaseless Hunger. Here we go, let's swing. Opponent's down to one health. And then he's obliterated. Okay, guys. That is game number three. Another victory, and I'll see you in game number four. And we're back for game number four. Now, this game is going to be a definite loss. The reason for this is because we're level 19 and I've never reached level 20. Whenever I hit level 19 I have like two losses in a row and uh, kind of think that's what will happen. It's pretty good, we got a bunch of lands so I like that. We can do Swamp into Thornbow Archer, okay our opponent, yes made sense, it's blue and black. Okay, let's get the Thornbow Archer out. We'll uh, do I even want to get Reclamation Sage out? Probably not. Yeah, definitely not. So I'll wait until I have mana for uh, Dvinen, Guildleaf Dean. We'll see. Oh, there's Chase. Well, we can keep on hitting our opponent. One damage still will be dealt to him. Okay, let's see what we draw into. Now, let's do Fertile Thicket here. Here we are. Yes. Oh crap, I shouldn't have used that. There was Lisa Liana Huntmaster right there, damn it. Oh well. What this is... Oh. Okay. And the rest on the bottom, in uh, any order. So at least Sylvan Ranger will save me here, so that's okay. Sylvan Ranger is our salvation. All The whole deck will be reshuffled. Okay, there is the block, one damage was already dealt anyways. So, do you really think this is fair? Exnik, you too. You told me that elves are... Yes, they're weak to mass removal, but come on, one mana, you get one two, and to top it all off, what's going to happen? Uh, you deal one extra damage, that's almost like a two two. I don't know about you guys, but I really think this is a highly unfair card. Okay, I like Sylvan Ranger actually a little bit more here, so... Let's get that out. I'd like to thin out the deck of lands as much as possible so I can get uh, better cards out. Yes. Let's get forest, of course. Here we go. So there is few less lands here, which is good. Confirm. And our opponent is a mill deck. I, since he has black, I assume it's a zombie mill deck of sorts. So I'll be expecting zombies very soon. Oh, okay. He decides to scry. I mean, draw, draw card, discard a card. There we are. And... Wow. Okay, so we get milled some more here. Oh, let's see. He was Force Mage, that's fine. As long as it's not the Lisa Liana Handmaster, we should be good. There's some more milling happening right now. Please don't be Handmaster. Oh, come on! Okay, well, first one is down, there's three more Huntmasters in there still, and we, we have decent cards here, that's fine. Now, I think, actually, in this case, I'm pretty okay with playing Reclamation Sage just to kill Sphinx Tutelage. It is a little bit too ridiculous. So, we have double Reclamation Sage, so let's play the first one. Sphinx Tutelage, off you go. Is he going to counter it? Because if he is, I have a second one, so I'm okay. Okay, he does not. So Sphinx Tutelage, off it goes. So, yeah, see you guys. Just the wind. Ooh, on Reclamation Sage. Does it sizzle? No, it still works. Yes! Of course I want to use this ability. Excellent! So Sphinx Tutelage, it's gone. And our opponent, unfortunately... Just wasted uh, just the wind, which is pretty good. Is he going? Oh, okay. Draw one, discard the one. That's fine. 
Our opponent's going to drop down to 16 health now. Well, this is what he gets for getting me to discard Lissali and the Huntmaster here. Well, to be entirely honest, I could have played Reclamation Sage a little bit earlier and got our opponent to discard his uh, Sphinx Tutelage earlier, but oh well. It is my fault entirely. So, uh, what? Okay. That is fine. The uh, ability is still going to trigger though. And I'm going to play the Guild Leaf now. Ooh, let me see. So, we swing. This deals 1 damage. With this, we can deal 2 damage, dropping him down to 4. But then he will be able to cast. Let's see. It doesn't matter at this point, I think. So, I think I am going to play Mortuary Mire here. Get the Huntmaster on top, confirm, that is fine, so, now let's play the, hmm, do I want this? I think I'm okay with this, so let's play this, it is much much more beefier, so here we go, there's the pump up, and we swing straight to Jace's face, well you know what, this swings to Jace's face too, confirm. That deals the damage to opponent. Here we are. So there we go. He's down to 4 now. He has to play a creature now if he wants to survive this. So Glacial Fortress, okay. He uses Jesus Witch Ability. Ooh, okay then. And is that it? Attack. Any creatures? Nothing. Excellent. So Lisa Liana Huntmaster right off the bat. Here we go. I'm not going to play Mortuary Mire because I there is nothing here I want really. Unholy hunger, destroy target creature. That's that makes sense. So now I can play Mortuary Mire actually to get that back. Since I do believe this is a pretty good card, especially due to the life gain. Here we go. There is the swing and confirm. Okay, so far so good. Opponent did gain two life, but that's not going to sustain him for much longer. So he has one, two, three, four, five, six. This is seventh. Hmm. I think he can do the one that returns all the cards back to my hand and then uh, puts an octopus out there, if he has it, that is. I'm not entirely sure that he does. Okay, displacement wave. Hey, that's fine, buddy. You are just letting me play Lisa Liana Huntmaster and get more uh, tokens out this way. So if he does play that, I'm okay with it. Okay. There's the displacement wave. Okay, four mana cost, so all of these guys go back to my hand. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is going to be an eighth throw. He returned Jace to his hand too. That's a little bit silly, I think, but okay. So we start off with this. Next turn I can actually never mind this turn, I play this. So I uh, one, two, three. Yes, one we have six mana. Given this fact, we can actually play Guild Lifting and Sylvan Advocate. Sylvan Advocate comes out as a 4-5. Okay. Surprising. Extremely surprising. But uh Necromatic Summons. What is it gonna be? Ooh, he's getting Eye Blight Assassin, okay. Sylvan Advocate! Oh wow! Now that's quite something. You know what? I'm going to play my own Sylvan Advocate here. Along with this, probably. So let's get the Sylvan Advocate out. Mm, that does use the green mana, though. Not leaving me any other green mana to use. If I play this, then I still can't do much. I can play Sylvan Advocate and I guess Elvish Visionary? Yeah, I'll do Sylvan Advocate and Elvish Visionary. Makes more sense. Yes. Here we are. 
And Elvish Visionary. Yes. There we go. Okay, let's draw a card. Shaman of the pack, so... Skip the attack. If our opponent wants to swing at us with this, I'll let it through. All I gotta do now is just play uh, Guild Leaf Team next turn. Follow that up with Shaman of the pack, probably. No, that's still not enough damage. Okay, Jace comes out, that's fine. So there's Jace. There's Flesh to Dust on... Well, that sucks. Ah, uh, this reprisal. Okay then. Wow. This actually hurts. This hurts a lot, a lot. Okay, uh, skip blocking. He wants to do this, let him do this. Once I get Git Lifting out, I think I'll have a little bit more say in what's going on. <sighs> do I want to do Sylvan Ranger first? Sylvan Ranger with Eva's Force Mage isn't gonna do much. Guild Lift Teen maybe gives me enough for a lethal on this guy. We need 7, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I think I will play Guild Lift Teen then. That is a response to his Sylvan Advocate. Let's play the Swamp out. And uh, just move on. Okay. Here we are. We've got nice juicy elves now, which is pretty good. Yeah, definitely the next turn I'm playing Sylvan Ranger, getting a forest out. And then playing Eva's Force Mage. Still not enough to kill it though. Even if I do give it to Guild 15. Hmm. This is something to consider, so okay. He's going for this minus nine, which is okay. Ooh, I just realized this. He can play flesh to dust or any other horrifying things here. I think it is in my best. Wait, is he displacement wave? God damn it! He's going to displace his Sylvan Advocate though, and that Sylvan Advocate actually comes back to me. So, will he play it? Jace goes back to him, and so does everything else, really. Let's see what he chooses to do here. Hmm. That is one, two, three cards that go back to me. Okay, so Guild Leaf Teen stays with me. Excellent. Wow. Pretty good, I gotta say. Pretty good. We draw into Thornbow Archer. So, let's start off this whole thing properly. Sylvan Ranger. Mm -hmm. Well, Sylvan Advocate. Followed by Sylvan Ranger. There we are. Okay. Yes. Get me a forest, please. Let's play out the forest. Let's play... We can play Elvish Visionary. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Let's draw a card. Okay. Uh, Thornbow Archer and Thornbow Archer. Excellent. Well, still going to be a victory for sure. We're at 14 health, surprisingly enough. But yeah, opponent leaves the game. That makes sense. So we do gain life here. Excellent. We're back up to 15 health. Good, good, good. So, given all this mana along with this, I think I can play Eva's Force Mage along with Double Reclamation Sage. Okay, Jace is out, but I don't think I care at this point. Okay, that's a 0 3, still fine. Okay, yeah, just swinging straight for opponent's face here then. Let's play Woodland Cemetery. Hmm. We need three mana, so one, two, three mana. We one, two, three. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, 
five six we can play. So I can do double reclamation. Actually, I can do Eva's Force Mage on Thornbow Archer. Okay, I can play. Uh, there's no point in playing this. I can play Scarred Wine Breeder. And I play Shaman of the Pack. I do 8 damage here and then we swing for victory. And for the first time ever we actually do reach uh, rank 20. Holy crap. Okay then, let's swing. Oh god, this feels so good. Okay, we swing and we win. Thornbow Archer is bringing him down to 1 health. And oh my god, we're going up to... We're up to 21 health. And we're at the rank 20. Holy crap. Well then guys, there you go. Elf deck. Extremely overpowered. I'll see you in game number 5. And we're back for game number 5. Gotta say, it feels absolutely wonderful <laughs> to just be at level 20. First time ever and it's all thanks to you guys. Especially, thank you so much Richard and Xnick. You guys didn't believe that this was possible, but I told you. Anyone playing uh, elf deck can easily reach this point. So, uh, we do have double Huntmaster, so I'm going to keep this hand. Start off with Mortuary Mire, or actually, no, I'll start off with Mortuary Mire. I want to get to these lands as soon as possible. So, there we are. What level is our opponent? He's level 15. His name is RLN 1995. Okay. So, yes. Definitely forest into Sylvan Ranger, hoping to draw into more lands. Okay, forest, ranger. Here we go. I will, yes. I'm going to get one more forest, because it is necessary to have double forest here. Okay then, now I Blight Assassin. Do I want to play it next turn? Well, let's see what our, our opponent plays. If he plays anything that's like 1-1, one, one, I Blight Assassin is going to be wonderful. And he does not. We drew into Elvish Visionary. Nice. So... I first swing. So, I learned this from you, X, Nick. I am going to be swinging first and playing my creatures on the second turn. And I probably should have played my land on the second turn too. But, oh well. Elvish Visionary. Let's draw into a card. Hopefully it's a land. Please be a land. Excellent. So now we have everything we need for Huntmaster. It might come one turn late, but if we do join to another land here, which is possible, it will come just in time. There's the Thopter Engineer, so I Blight Assassin will be able to easily take care of that Thopter. If it comes to that, that is. We are up against the Thopter deck. Well, Artifact deck, that is. Looking forward to seeing what it can do. Okay, there is the forest, and there is the Huntmaster. Excellent. Worst comes to worst, there is Reclamation Sage to take care of all these pesky, pesky artifacts. And once again, guys, as I have already previously said, Elf deck is ridiculously overpowered. I mean, it counters Mill, as you guys saw, it counters artifacts, it counters a bunch of other crap that we were faced against. I think Mill was the only deck that gave me a run for my money in this deck. Everything else probably doesn't stand a chance. Fiery Conclusion, okay, 5 damage to Lisa Liana. Guess what, there's more to Mire to bring it back, so it's okay. Here we go. Let's play the Mortuary Mire. Confirm this. Play the Huntmaster. And next turn we're going to play the second Huntmaster once again. Okay, well, skip the attack and move on. Okay, will he have another fiery conclusion or something of the like for the Huntmaster, I wonder? Let's see. He plays a Thopter Spy Network, that will be a little bit scary. Ooh, Esper Zoe. that's fine then. Esper Zoe is just... Oh, it comes out with haste, holy crap! Hmm... Well, it's okay, I'll take the damage this turn, and I'm going to take an 4 more damage next turn too, but 
At least I get to play my Huntmaster, so here we go. Let's pump it all up. Yes, I'm not swinging with the Huntmaster because our opponent might have... Uh, what's it called? Twin Ball to burn my Huntmaster, so I don't want that happening just yet. So, next turn. Strategy. Sylvan Advocate with Circlamation Sage. Okay. That's... Uh, Okay, never mind, I'm not even going to do any of that. So, Sylvan Advocate, probably. Uh, swing with everything I've got. Wait, if I do draw into one more land, I can... Never mind, never mind. So, Reclamation Sage on Espersoa. Let's take 4 damage drop down to 10. It's fine. He has no mana, so I can easily swing with the double Huntmasters. And not worry for any blocking. Here we are. Okay, let's continue. Let's swing, swing. See how our opponent deals with this. He does not. And just takes it. So, let's play Reclamation Sage. Deal with this. Yes, of course I want to play this. There we go. Now, all we need here is Shaman of the Pack, and I think we're pretty set. Of course I want to use this ability. Okay, let's play... Hmm, I think Sylvan Advocate is the best choice here. Quite confident with Elvish Visionary and a card show we will be able to draw into what we need. Yes, here we are. Yeah, excellent. So next turn, with the land that we draw, Sylvan Advocate becomes a 4-5. And we have our Huntmasters, we have Reclamation Sage, which we can swing with and use Eye Blight Assassin to kill the Thopter Engineer. So let's take 2 damage, that's fine. Here we go, we're down to 8. Okay. Woo! Uh, what's the transformed ability? Hmm... Well, let's see. Kind of think I have to do Elvish Visionary here first. And only then Nisa Vastut's here. Yes. And yes. Here we go, please be a land. It is a land, but not the one I want, so therefore I will have to play Nisa here. Yes. And yes. Here we go. Nisa, get the land I want, please. I'll get the green forest. Goes out, we play the forest. We move into attack phase. Our opponent won't be able to burn with just one. There is Fiery Impulse actually, so... We swing just with this. Next turn we go out full on swing. That's for sure. Here we are. Opponent takes it. Come on. Okay, he's probably thinking his choices here. So, we, he takes it, he drops down to 9. We have, I don't even know how many, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hmm, 17 elves. Damn it, that's amazing. Actually, I can get the achievement, control 20 elves or more, so... I'm thinking of playing that double Eye Blight Assassin next turn. Okay, so 4 damage will drop down to 4, that's fine. I play Eye Blight Assassins, kill all these Thopters. Also get Nisa out, which is pretty good on its own. Okay. Eva's Force Mage. I guess playing Eva's Force Mage, I can give Reclamation Sage what I need. What is the opponent doing at this point? Okay. Uh, that, that, um, let's see. Let's play U.S. Force Mage, okay. Let's get the Elf out. Yes. Please get the achievement. Please, please, please. Okay. 
Yay! I don't know if you guys see that, but I got the achievement. Excellent! Just what I needed. Let's play the Eye Blight Assassin. Here we go! More elves. Actually... Uh, yeah, kill that. More Churi Mire. Nisa gets transformed into a Planeswalker. There you go. Let's use this. I'm just curious to see what we draw into. If it's Shaman of the Pack. Okay, it's not Shaman of the Pack, so I don't feel as bad. There we go, guys. Another victory. So, satisfied yet? That's game number five. I'm gonna play two more games after this. There you go. Okay, I'll see you in game number six. And we're back for game number six. So, I'm going to sound a little bit cocky here, but I'm kind of getting frustrated of this deck because it is a little bit easier. Still Lisa, 21, okay. So, if we lose this, that will be game number seven. If we win this, uh, I don't think I'm gonna continue this. Okay, let's keep this hand. All we need to draw into one more green and we should be good. And we do have Thornbow Archer right off the bat. Okay, Swamp, Thornbow Archer. We draw into two more greens. There is the Huntmaster that will be coming out. And also the Leaf Team. Or Leaf Diane, however you pronounce it. It's a uh, very hard to pronounce card name. Okay, so two damage already off the bat. Damn it. Do I want to play Mortuary Mire here? No, not yet. No point, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Just need one green. Once I draw into that green, I play Sylvan Ranger, get another green, and then I can get Lisa Lee and a Huntmaster. But I really need to get into that green. Okay, there is a forest. And no creature. Another two damage into opponent's face. Damn it, that's nice. Very nice, but we do need that green. Okay, let's swing and confirm. If our opponent plays a 1 1 creature, I Blight Assassin kills it. So, opponent's at 16 health now. Good, good, good. Let's see. Wow! Our opponent's mana screwed. Ah, oh, come on! Now that's gonna be boring. Okay, we drew into Hissing Quagmire. Uh, not going to play Eye Blight Assassin. I can use it to generate two tokens, so I'll keep it back for now. Okay. Opponents at 14 health now. Next turn I can do Sylvan Ranger, get the green that we need. And then we can play Huntmaster. Excellent. So, what will he play? Ooh, Bygone Bishop. Nice. That means uh, no more swinging with that Thornbow Archer anymore. Okay, there's the Fertile Ticket. Let's play that. Let's search. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, do I want this extra land? Yes, I don't. No, I don't want that extra land. Let's play the Sylvan Ranger. Here we are. If it was green, I would have taken it, but... Uh, that I really don't want. So, there's the forest that we needed. Let's continue. Excellent. Now, this will be able to counter this, but first we gotta get the Huntmasters out. Now, what is this? Vigilance, Renown 2. Oh, jeez. This'll be really bad if it turns into 5... Uh, well, Huntmaster will counter that. Otherwise, it would have turned into a 4-5, and that wouldn't have been good. Okay. So, let me explain this to you guys. Let me put the Huntmaster out here, okay. So, look at this explanation. This, 3 mana, Vigilance and Renown, okay? You have whatever uh, uh, Sylvan something, whatever it's called, card. It's only 2 mana. It also has Vigilance 
and to top it all off, it can easily become a 4-5, just like this one can. But again, it's only 2 mana. So think about it. How fair is this? Anyways, that's why I'm just saying. Elf decks are ridiculous. Okay, so let's see what the opponent does. This, okay. He gets another clue token. Okay then. Another 2 damage, that's fine. We're at 16 now. This is where token generation comes into play and we end up being victorious. So, Huntmaster, off you go. Yes. Excellent. Not going to swing of course, skip the attack and move on. So if our opponent wants to make this renowned, though I think I will let him do so. Or maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. Actually I do have the tokens to block these, so I might just as well do that. This I can block with the Thornbow Archer, this I'll block with the token and we should be good. Once I get the Guild Leaf Dying out, we'll be good. Sacrifices a clue token, hoping to draw for a burn of sorts. It's the forest. Attack phase. Bygone Bishop. Yep, 2 damage, we're down to 14, just like our opponent. Good. Now, Guild Leaf, off you go. Ooh, beautiful. We might as well just not do anything and punch up all the else we can. So, here we are. And here we are. All the tokens get pumped up. Next turn I will swing with the tokens. If our opponent does choose to block, there's Eye Blight Assassin to take care of things. And now we have taken care of his Bygone Bishop too. So. And what is he going to do? Oh, sacrifice is a clue token, that's fine. So next turn. What do I want to do next turn? There's planar outburst that he can play. That will hurt me a lot. Do we need one more mana? If I play Shaman of the Pack... It's currently 8. We can do 11 damage. If we have one more land... Reprisal. Only Saliana Huntmaster. Yep. Okay then. Well, that sucks. Another reprisal, only Saliana Huntmaster. Damn it! Well, that's fine. That's just fine. We have the kill 15, which is fine by us here. So, another Thornbow Archer. So, let's play Eva's Force Mage. Pump up the kill 15. Here we go. Play. Keep the Eye Blight Assassin back for now. Let's continue. We will swing with everything. And I mean everything. See how our opponent responds here. So there's one damage. Straight off the bat. There's the life gain that we get triggered. We're up to 20 again. Now he hits this. Okay. He hits that. And... Do I want to kill the bishop now? Or this? The Castellan or the Bishop? That's the question. I think I want to kill the Castellan just because of uh, its renown 2 and its vigilance. I don't quite like it as much. Whenever a creature becomes renowned or a card, I don't really care for that one. So, we can play Eye Blight Assassin here. Let's do so. Eye Blight Assassin and Citadel Castellan is done for. Okay. Good, good, good. Our opponent's at 4 health. Uh, what the heck? I could have played Shaman of the Pack. Ah, oh, damn it. Either way, it's a victory. It does not matter at this point, honestly. So we just play Shaman of the Pack, do 7 damage to our opponent, and it's game. Can't even do more damage than that. Okay, so 3 damage. AI. Bravely enough swings at us. We drop down to 17. Okay, so anyways, Richard W and uh, 
Well, we're up against the AI here. Maybe I want to continue this. But yeah, X Nick and Richard W, guys, see? This is what exactly I sent you. Completely overpowered. So let's play the Scarblade. No, I'm just gonna end this. Anyways, to all of you guys watching, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Shaman of the Pack is going to end this episode. And uh, if you want to play this deck, try it out. It's ridiculously overpowered. And yeah, I'll see you guys in other episodes. If you have suggestions, let me know and I'll try them out. Bye!